said help. I like covered her mouth and she started trying to fight it. So I just like, I just stabbed her in the throat. <laughs> like three times or something. And I just wanted her to not scream and then like I realized that I was making it worse and I couldn't do anything about it and I, I, just, I just sat there freaking out. And June 1st, she attended a party at a friend's house. Carter had met a man there named Kevin, flirted with him through the night, and eventually left the party with him. in disarray and bloodstains on the floor. In the bathtub, a human body lay partially obscured beneath a couch cushion and clothes. When a bloody fingerprint was positively matched to McCatlin, he became the prime suspect in Carter's murder. after her body was found, he was arrested at his grandmother's house. Officers Wilson and Triplett flew from St. George to the city of Moab, where they made the arrest, the men embarking on a five-hour drive back. This Sasha is a married mother of four who'd been engaged in an on and off affair with McCatlin for around six months. Their relationship is clearly at the forefront of McCatlin's mind and his unguarded desire to speak with her will become a key bargaining chip in enticing his cooperation. More straight up, since you are, honestly, 100% honest, the better it is. Things work out a lot better. I was taking a shower and I got out and I saw I saw Liz and some guy I'd never met before.
bunch of things across the ground and uh, I like I grabbed her by the throat and I uh, I threw her against the um, there's like a little shelf or something next to the couch as hard as I could and I remember uh, she hit it really hard and like I was like oh shit and Katana sets, it like had a, a, a small one, and I, uh, I, and when she said help, I like covered her mouth and she started trying to fight it, so I just like, I just stabbed her in the throat. Norlander, a local tattoo artist, shared with police that he and McCatlin spoke at a local bar on June 9th, a week after the murder. McCatlin said he'd done something awful, later elaborating that he'd cut some girl's head off with a sword and trashed her house after McCatlin's best friend Billy Snyder also heard the confession. McCatlin revealed he took someone's life, he took the breath out of her. Snyder acknowledges that his friend was prone to exaggerate, but emphasized to police that he's very capable of something like this. 